Well, good morning, Clontarf Beach Baptist. Good morning, everyone. Uh, great to have you with us this morning. Uh, it's our, whoops, I'm looking, this is crazy. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at myself in the mirror. It, like, it looks like a mirror, but it's actually going the opposite way. So it's weird. Um, I'm trying to, to comb my hair there. And it's only making it worse because what I think I'm doing with my left hand, I'm doing with my right hand, and it's all weird. So you're going to have to bear with me. It looks funny, but that's okay. Um, last week, I started talking to you about core values. And uh, we talked about how Jesus matters more than anything else. He, or he's meant to. That's 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 meant to be one of our absolute foundational values, core values uh, of us as Christians and as a church. Um, and so the thing that we hang on to, and it's all the way through Scripture, the Lordship of Jesus Christ is um, is really one of the the big things, and that's one thing. One of the distinctives uh, that Baptist churches hang on to is that we hold to the Lordship of Jesus Christ. No one matters more. Nothing matters more. Jesus should always be up front and centre in our lives and in everything that we do. The last week I, I shared a little bit about how Jesus is to be uh, the focal point. He's to be the centerpiece. And in Revelation, um, it, it paints the picture of how Jesus is actually centered. That's the reality. Jesus is the center uh, of the universe. And so we need to get on board that reality and live our lives, adjust our lives so that he is central to our lives. Um, and he is not only the focus, as in the thing that we we to look to, he is he brings things into focus. So when we look at the world through the lens of the gospel, then you know we uh, find that God is uh, we find that as we look through the lens of Jesus or the gospel, that the things that are most important in life actually become in, come into focus. They become obvious so that we can do them. So it's important to look through the lens of Jesus. Uh, and that's part of having him, uh, the... the uh, as the core value of our life, the, the thing that matters most in our life. Um, but today I wanted to focus, to think about how Jesus is the foundation. He's foundational for us. And Jesus actually says this in, um, when he's finishing the, the Sermon on the Mount, um, he says these words to end it, to round it all off. He says, Any, everyone who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man who builds his house on the rock. So Jesus is saying there that he, his, his teaching is foundational, that it is actually, he's claiming that for himself. That should be, if we're going to be wise, then we've got to first know what he's all about. Know what he teaches and put it into practice. So, for me, when I think about foundations, because... I did for many years, I was a civil designer. I did some 
engineering uh, of houses and uh, other structures. And so I, I know the importance of foundations. And I, I'm sure you do too, even if you haven't been involved in, in uh, the building industry, you know the importance of foundations. Um, and the foundation brings stability. It also brings security when you think about a home. You know, our homes bring us, uh, uh, they're the platform from which we can do life well. If, if we have a, a secure platform from which to do life, and Jesus provides that, he is to be our foundation. And when you think about uh, what is your foundation in different areas of life? What, what's your foundation in, in your finances? If Jesus is the foundation, then we can be secure that whether we've got lots or we've got little, um, then he's, he, we can still have that sense of security because God is supplying all our needs and we don't have to worry. So we have to, to work, of course. That's important. We have to, to do uh, what's in front of us as God pl places you know, stuff before us. He wants us to uh, not uh, be inactive, but he is our foundation. So he uh, then is the security for which, you know, he won't let us down when we're trusting in Jesus. He's promised that. But what about relationally? What's your foundation relationally? For when, when the others aren't kind to you, what, what is the, the response? And how can you be kind back? What's, on what basis would you respond to others in kindness and generosity and all of those things? It's got to be Jesus. For us as Christians, he, his, his kindness to us is the whole reason that we want to, that we can be kind to others. If we actually didn't have uh, have His Spirit energizing us, then uh, we're going to run out of kindness pretty quickly. We need Him as our our foundation. We need to to rest on him and as far as uh, on the uh, a basis for humility why why would we be humble especially if we're good at certain things why wouldn't we <laughs> be um you know happy to parade it in front of their others why wouldn't we um you know it's it's not wrong to celebrate the things that we're good at. But humility is something different. Jesus was perfect, and yet he was humble. He humbled himself to first get in a place where he could be in relationship with us and we could be in relationship with him. He humbled himself to be a servant, the servant of others. And so that's what um, that's what it means for us uh, to become under the lordship of Jesus too, to have Him as our foundation. That um, you know we can give up our time. We can give of our our talents. We can give of our treasure. We can give of our, our our lives, knowing we're not going to be used up in the process because Jesus is our foundation. He's the basis on which we, he's already shown us how to do it. And he overcame all the opposition 
that, that faced him. So we too can be overcomers with him. Um, so I'm just going to finish with, with the way that Paul puts this whole idea of Jesus being our foundation. He says in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 11, For no one can lay a foundation other than the one which is, which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Jesus is our foundation. Remember, he's our, our focus. This is our, a core value of ours, the Lordship of Jesus. Nothing matters more. Jesus should always be front and centre in our lives. Let me close in a word of prayer. Father God, we thank you that you left the glory of heaven in the person of Jesus. You came, identified with us, and you you became a man. You showed us how to be humble, how to live in relationship with others, how to give of yourself. And you call us to do the same. Help us, Lord, to rest on you for our security, for our stability. Help us to have you as our foundation in our lives. And to give you the place that you, you deserve. First place in our lives. Lord, we thank you for your love for us. Help us to love you and to love others in your way, with, with your love. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, that's it for now. We'll uh, catch you again on the weekend. Uh, don't forget tomorrow morning, 9.30, PJ will be on for our devotions. And then uh, later... Uh, Friday, Dan's on. And on the weekend, we've got a family service. So um, look out for that, 9.30 Sunday morning, uh, and then 5 p.m. at night. Again, PJ will be preaching at night, and that will be um, a time when we'll share around the communion table as well. So uh, don't forget to get prepared for that. Uh, great to uh, be with you this morning. God bless and bye for now.